Flutter's physics-based animation relies on the concept of a physics simulation to determine the movement and behavior of visual elements on the screen. Instead of specifying explicit animations with predetermined durations and interpolations, you can define the physical properties and forces acting upon an object, and Flutter's animation system will handle the rest. The physics-based animation in Flutter is powered by the physics simulation engine provided by the Flutter slash Schedule Earth package. This engine allows you to simulate real-world physics behaviors such as gravity, friction, velocity, and collisions. By applying these physics principles to your UI elements, you can create animations that respond to user interactions or other dynamic events in a way that mimics the laws of nature. To utilize physics-based animation in Flutter, you typically define an animation controller, which serves as the timekeeper for the animation. You can then attach a physics-based animation to the controller using widgets like Physics Simulation, which describes the physical properties of the animation. By providing an initial position and velocity, as well as defining the physics properties like friction and resistance, you can create lifelike animations that respond realistically to user input or other external forces. Overall, physics-based animation in Flutter allows developers to create visually appealing and interactive user interfaces that simulate real-world physics behaviors. It adds a layer of depth and interactivity to your app, enhancing the user experience and making your UI elements feel more natural and intuitive. Falling Objects Example To start with a physics-based animation example, let's create a falling object simulation. Create a new project and import physics.dart. In Flutter, the physics.dart file refers to a module that provides various classes and utilities for working with physics-based animations and simulations. It is part of the Flutter framework and is located in the src physics.dart file within the Flutter SDK. The physics.dart file includes important classes like simulation, friction simulation, spring simulation, and scroll spring simulation. These classes define different types of physical simulations that can be used to create realistic animations in Flutter applications. Include with single ticker provider state mix in. Create animation controller and animation variables. Create a double underscore object y variable, which represents the initial position of the object. Declare and initialize a variable named underscore gravity with the value 9.8. This constant represents the acceleration due to gravity, measured in meters per second squared. Inside the init state method, initialize the controller with a duration of 10 seconds. Create a tween that defines the range of values for the animation. Create a curved animation using the controller and the tween. Add a listener to update the position of the falling object. Calculate the new position based on time and gravity. Start the animation. Dispose of the controller when done. In the body section, use an animated builder widget. Provide the animation and a builder function. Return a stack widget. Add a positioned widget as a child. Set the left position to half of the screen size, minus 25, half the width of the container. Inside the builder method of animated builder, position a container representing the falling object using the calculated underscore object y value.
add a semicolon after the container positioning. This example uses an animation controller and a tween to define the animation's duration and range of values. The animation's listener updates the underscore object y value whenever the animation value changes, recalculating the position based on the formula for a falling object under gravity. When running the code, a red circle will fall from the top of the screen due to gravity. You can customize the appearance and behavior by adjusting the initial position, animation duration, and other properties. Thank you for watching.